Job chapter 28 verse 12 But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price thereof. Neither is it found in the land of the living. The death saith, It is not in me. And the sea saith, It is not with me. Whence then cometh wisdom? And where is the place of understanding? Seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living, and kept close from the fowls of the air. Shalom, all praises, blessings, glories, and honors be unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kodash. Double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Melstone who have taught me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the seed and of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. To you I say Shalom and Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shara this lesson is edifying. Where shall wisdom be found? And where is your place of understanding? The inspiration for this show comes from reading the book of Job, 28th chapter, which I highly encourage you brothers and few sisters to read. And this is actually one of my favorite chapters of the book of Job. Now, this is the book of Job, 28 verse 12. But where shall wisdom be found? So where is the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai be found in the scriptures? And where is the place of understanding? Also in the scriptures, but it goes a little bit deeper. And very soon in this lesson, Lord is willing, we will find out where wisdom and understanding is found. Man knoweth not the price thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living. So, true wisdom and understanding, man knoweth not the price thereof, for there is no price that can be placed upon the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. Neither is, neither is it found in the land of the living, because it is heavenly. The death saith it is not in me, and the sea saith it is not with me. It cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall silver be waged for the price thereof. Why is that? Because the things that are earthly cannot and must not be compared with the, with the things that are heavenly. And one of the things that are heavenly are the wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which represents this knowledge. But there is a particular way in which it is required as a gift that is bestowed upon us through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It cannot be gotten for gold, neither shall it be weighed for the prices thereof. It cannot be valued with the gold of Ophir, with the precious onyx of the, or the sapphire. The gold and the crystal cannot equal it. Earthly gold and crystal, that is. And the exchange of it shall not be for jewels of fine gold. So the exchange of wisdom and understanding and the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is heavenly, shall not be for exchange for jewels of fine gold that are earthly. No mention shall be made of coral or of pearls for the price of wisdom is above rubies. And we will read more of this in the, in the book of Proverbs, the third chapter, Lord is willing. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Whence then cometh wisdom? 
and where is the place of understanding? Seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living and kept close from the fowls of the air. Destruction and death say we have heard the fame thereof with our ears. So destruction and death have heard the fame of the heavenly wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Bahashim Shai, which the Lord has gifted to us as elect, which Lord is willing, I am of the elect, as well as you brothers and a few sisters out there. And it is gifted to us through his fear, which is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge and understanding, which is a perspective of this lesson. Seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living and kept from the fathers of the air, destruction and death say we have heard the fame thereof with our ears. Yahweh Bashim Yahusha understandeth the way thereof, and he knoweth the place thereof. And the Lord is going to tell us exactly where that place is. For he looketh to the ends of the earth and seeth under the whole heaven to make the weight for the winds, and he weighed the waters by measure. When he made a decree for the rain and a way for the lightning of the thunder, then did he see it and declared it, and declared it, excuse me. He prepared it, yea, and searched it out. And this is the point. And unto man he said, Seeth, behold, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Shai, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. And so the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Shai, that is wisdom. That is where wisdom are coming from. That is where wisdom is found in the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Shai which is the beginning of wisdom and also understanding and to depart from evil is understanding evil things that are contrary to the scriptures also the fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding this is the book of Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the Lord Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding and so the knowledge of the holy is understanding how do we acquire the knowledge of the holy? Through his fear. Proverbs chapter 1. And this is one of my favorite topics, man. The fear of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. And so the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And so the knowledge of the holy is acquired through his fear which is also understanding and so now let's go to the book of proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 happy is the man that findeth wisdom and a man that getteth understanding and in order for a man to find wisdom, he must first acquire the fear of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, which is a gift that is given unto us after the Lord reveals himself through his son unto us. Because we don't find the Lord, the Lord finds us. And the man that gives understanding. And what is understanding? Understanding again is to depart from evil. And also the knowledge of the holy, which is acquired through his fear. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold, which we ought not to compare this heavenly knowledge and wisdom unto because it is greater than earthly gold and silver and rubies and other earthly precious stones she is more precious than rubies and all the things thou cannot desire are not to be compared unto her length of days is in her right hand who's 
sitting on the right hand of the heavenly father Yahweh, Yahweh Shai or our Lord. So length of days is in our right hand is in wisdom's right hand. And again, Yahweh Shai is the one that is sitting on the right hand side of the father, Yahweh. In fact, Yahweh Shai is the word of Yahweh. For he comes in the volume of the book, it is written of him. And in her left hand, riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is everyone that retaineth her. Retaineth who? Retaineth wisdom. Okay, so this pretty much concludes the lesson. The points have been hit and have been made through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. The words of this lesson was edifying to the elect and to those that are new in the faith. Now you know where wisdom and knowledge and understanding is found. It is found in the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, as it is written here in the book of Job 28, verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord Yehovah, Mahashem Yahweh Shai, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. So, if somebody asks you, Whence then come of wisdom, and where is the place of understanding? Or, Where shall wisdom be found, and where is the place of understanding? And the answer is found right here in the book of Job 28, verse 28. In the fear of the Lord Yehovah, Mahashem Yahweh Shai. So, with that, I say shalom to the elect, Lord's willing, until the next.